Alrighty, so I know I talk about this rebuild might be the toughest, this one might be the roughest, this one might be the hardest, but today really might be that rebuild because we're talking about the 2003 Detroit Tigers, one of the worst teams in MLB history. They went 43 and 119. Think about that. And when we go through the roster, you probably will know like two names. That's how bad they were. They didn't really have a star studded lineup. So if you guys want to see some more rebuilds like this, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And in the comment section down below, I want you guys to tell me who is your favorite player in MLB history. Who is your favorite player of all time? And if you guys are going to any sporting events and you guys need tickets, use the code Ant Ortiz at SeatGeek and get $20 off your first purchase. So $20 off. That's a pretty good deal. So without any further ado, let's get into this really bad team. Alrighty, so you guys can see the layout is a little bit different. I didn't find this roster on MLB The Show 19. I looked for 2003. I looked for an old Detroit Tigers uh, roster. I couldn't find one in the vault. I hopped on MLB The Show 18 and boom, 2003 rosters were available. And that's what we're going to rock with. So everything else, the settings are left alone. We're going to do everything manually like we normally do. And let's go take a look at the rosters because you guys can see every single team has their 2003 roster updated. So we got Carlos Beltran on the Royals. We got Torrey Hunter, Johan Santana on the Twins. Troy Percival with the Angels. Also Troy Gloss, John Lackey. Look at this. We got Eric Chavez, Miguel Tejada with the Athletics. Edgar Martinez and a young Ichiro with the Mariners. You know, we could keep going. A-Rod's here. Jeff Kent, Bailey Wagner, Greg Maddox, Pudge, Vlad. Vlad is in this roster. Mike Piazza, Chase Utley. We got Kenny Lofton with Sammy Sosa, Griffey Jr., um, Richie Saxon, Jason Kendall. I mean, Pujols is still on the Cardinals. That's how far back we're going. Uh, we got Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling, Todd Helton. Adrian Beltre. I mean, I could keep going on and on with Barry Bonds. You know, the, the names, you know, Pedro Martinez, Nomar Garcia, Para, you know, Derek Jeter, Mariano Rivera, like so on and so forth. But as you guys can see, we're rocking with some throwback rosters. Everything is what it's supposed to be. This is going to be more difficult because our farm system doesn't exist. We have Joe Randoms throughout. So we really have to make moves with our major league squad if we want to make any trades so you guys can see this is the team we're rocking with and i want you guys to let me know how many players you actually knew on this detroit tigers team i'm looking at nate cornejo gary knotts nate robertson jeremy bonderman mike Merritt, um chris mears a young fernando rodney uh, matt roney will ledesma chris sperling franklin guzman hey uh, jamie walker brandon inge matt mike Wallbeck, carlos pena was one of the better players this year and I think he hit like 270, 280. You got Omar Infante, Warren Morris, Eric Munson, Shane Halter, Ramon Santiago, Dimitri Young. I remember Dimitri Young. Craig Monroe, Alex Sanchez, Andres Torres, Bobby Higginson. So like I said, no minor leaguers at all. So if we want to make any moves, we have to make them through the, the, the MLB squad. No one wants an F1 overall player. And then these free agents, you guys are probably going to be like, why don't you sign a free agents? Well, these free agents are like the normal MLB The Show 18 free agents. So I'm not going to sign any of these free agents. I'll try to keep it to the 2003 rosters that become available. With that being said, we still can scout players um, so that we can at least try to get some kind of prospects into the farm system. But really, the only way we can make any moves in this rebuild is through trades. So with that being said, let's see if I can make any moves with our horrible squad and uh, if not, we're just going to have to hop into season one right away. All righty. The first trade we're going to make is Kirk Ruder for Mar Mike Mar Marith. Um, D potential. That's kind of why I'm getting rid of him. We're getting someone who's a little bit older, but at least he has C potential. So maybe you'll hold on to that, that overall a little bit better. All righty. Next trade, Craig Monroe for Phil Nevin. Um, we have Dimitri Young, who I'd rather have in left field. And then our third baseman just suck. So that's why I'm kind of looking for someone who could... You know, he's got some decent hitting stats, and I feel like at least for a season or two, he should be pretty helpful. All right, we're going to trade Jeremy Bonderman for a reliever and Justin Spire. That leaves us one starter short, I know. Um, I'll figure something out. Alrighty, so it's not the best of, uh, like, it's not the best idea, but we're going to let this guy be our, our fifth starter. He's got 62 stamina. It's not terrible. Uh, we got Gary Knotts, Nate Robertson, Kirk Ruder. And then Nate Cornejo. I'm um, looking at our bullpen. 
I mean, it, it doesn't look... It, it looks terrible. I, I can't lie. It looks pretty bad. Um, it looks like a team that isn't good. I mean, when you look at your bench and your bench is 68 overall, that's the highest player. You know something's not working. Uh, when you look at our lineup, we got 60s involved. We got a couple 80s. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but I just... A lot of these guys are aging players too. So, it's not like we have good prospects to look forward to having in the squad so there's the trades for season one we're not gonna be able to sign any free agents like i said but we are gonna be able to do some scouting off camera get the trade or get the draft ready so i'll see you guys at draft day all right it's looking like we might actually have some prospects that feature pretty quickly in this rebuild because what we did was actually pretty solid zach berkowitz looks you know the walks per nine a little low but the hits per nine are not pretty pretty good i like the looks of those so Zach Berkowitz, definitely a solid pickup. Fred Webster, 61, maybe more of a trade piece for the future, but definitely not a bad pitcher. Juan Lopez, maybe a new right fielder for us. He's got good speed, good power too. 72 overall already. And then we have Juan Mejia, who again, probably more of a trade piece, but at least we're getting some decent overall pit players who can maybe help us next season in Juan Lopez and Zach Berkowitz. So at the deadline, we were pretty close. We were like four games out of the wild card and then you know past the deadline things kind of fell apart and you guys can see we finished 77 and 85 so i mean still better than what the actual detroit tigers did that year i mean they won 43 games in real life that's that's pretty rough but it looks like we got an award a gold glove okay so nothing nothing too exciting but we'll take a look at the standings the white Sox won the central um the east was taken by the yankees the athletics won the west the wild card is the Mariners and the Red Sox. When you look at the East, National League East, you got the Braves and the Phillies both making the postseason. The Central was won by the Cubs. The West was the Diamondbacks and the Giants got the wild card as well. So pretty solid, you know, pretty solid postseason when you look at it. When we look at our team, Alex Sanchez, not too bad. 285 year, only two home runs, but still 285 average. When you look at his on-base percentage, we're going to scroll across three, 315 and which was a little higher, a little bit higher. Phil Nevin, not terrible, 277 with 21 home runs, 76 RBIs, a 345 on base percentage, solid. Bobby Higginson had a great season, 300 average, 374 on base percentage. I like that a lot. That's a good year. Carlos Pena struggled a little bit at the plate with a 254 average, 323 on base percentage, not terrible. He did hit four, almost 40 home runs though, so that's really good. Dimitri Young's up to an 80. That's good to see. 274 average, 305 on base percentage. I mean. Okay, he did hit 24 home runs, 86 RBIs, awesome. Warren Morris might be our new second baseman because Omar Infante struggled a little bit, but um, 337 on base percentage is really nice. Um, Brandon Inge, not too bad. Overall has gone down though, which is worrisome. Um, Ramon Santiago and Omar Infante. So actually, Warren, Moss had a, Warren Morris had a worse season than Omar Infante. Huh. And then our bench was pretty bad. Our bench was, our bunch is are just, it's just terrible. It's just bad. When we look at our team, Nate Cornejo, not too bad. Three, okay. I mean, that whip's good. The ERA is not terrible. Um, wins and losses obviously aren't there. Kirk, that's a good trade that we did. Um, the, the overall went down a little bit, but I mean, the ERA is there. The whip's okay. Wins and losses, not terrible. Matt Roney, yikes. Um, Nate Robertson, okay. I, that's a good, I can work with that. That's solid. Gary Knott, mm. Uh, Will Ledesma struggled very much so. Justin Spire, ooh, that was a good trade for us. He is looking like a key bullpen arm. Sperling struggled. Ger uh, Franklin Germain struggled. Fernando Rodney, though. Fernando Rodney is going to be a huge part of our like bullpen. Look at those stats. Ooh, 220 ERA with a .98 whip. Oh, man. Jamie Walker, that's solid. I like that. A good lefty for the bullpen. Chris Mears, ooh. What happened at the at the all-star break he had like a low three era what what changed something something must have happened but you guys can see the postseason bracket is right there we're gonna sim to the offseason like we normally do see who wins the yankees defeat the diamondbacks all right let's just let's just keep going see what we can do contracts wise we got a couple people like you know retired expected you know the joe randoms don't want to hang around anymore uh, realistically we kind of do have to sign everybody back um he's 22 he just doesn't have good stats though you know what i mean but I, we'll, we'll give it to him um andres torres didn't have the best of years so let's just do like a, a one year 
baby deal that's what i call those baby deals so let's just keep moving forward um and then we'll just see what we have to do nothing there arbitration we cannot let fernando rodney go we gotta we gotta give him that contract kirk as much as i don't want to see him leave um actually he was a he was a good little pickup yeah that wasn't too bad spurling uh let's just take a look at free agency what's available oh man we may maybe not needed to uh, uh offer those contracts um arbitration we can let him go because it's looking like there's a lot available for us what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna give um let's see let's see these guys will definitely get it because they're they're like actually good for our team the only one i won't give it to is munson Walbeck, and jermaine and we'll and then halter and we'll try to replace them in free agency all right so unfortunately free agency really didn't go too well for us apparently we can't afford a max contract which kind of sucks because I couldn't get Ichiro, couldn't get A-Rod, I couldn't get Big Poppy. I just couldn't get anybody. So we, we, we were able to do a couple things, but we're going to start with the trade first. We're going to trade Andres Torres for uh, Jesus Colome because we need, we need another bullpen arm. I feel like this will kind of help us out. So let's go take a look with what we're working with now. So you guys can see we've definitely made some improvements. I'm actually going to let... Um, Fernando Rodney be our closer, but we're gonna let Berkowitz be our starter. Everybody else, I'm pretty sure, is the same from last year. You guys can see. Actually, I'll give Mears another shot at the closer role. When we look at the the starting the starting lineup, though, we added Brian Roberts, formerly of the Orioles, at second base. I also went for Placido Polanco, but Brian Roberts signed for actually it's actually a pretty big contract. And then basically from there, we weren't allowed to sign anybody else. You guys can see. Um, everything else is kind of the same. Um, we did sign a couple or actually just one other player from free agency. And it's Samuel Cologne or Colin Cologne. I'm going to go Cologne because, you know, he's a lefty bat, left fielder. He was in free agency. Uh, he was a, a prospect that I guess didn't get signed. He looks really good. Um, and I think he might actually be our DH versus righty. So overall, you know, I feel okay with the moves we made. Nothing too, like, amazing. It wasn't like, oh, my God, we got so much better. But there, there's small things here and there. Um, I don't really know what else we could do besides maybe trade one of our, like, big players like Carlos Pena, maybe Dimitri Young. Um, that's really the only way we're going to get better. Maybe Bobby Higginson since he is 33. So I'm actually going to see if I can find a better trade uh, with Bobby Higginson. So I'll be right back. All right, it's not for a right fielder, but we're going to trade – for Jason Bay of the Pirates and we're also going to add in two bullpen arms one they just drafted in Billy Shepard and then Joe Bimel Bimel I mean they're not amazing but they're at least a little bit better than what we currently have alrighty so this is basically the only change we got Jason Bay in right field and you guys can see the bullpen is here it it looks okay um I'll probably put Joe mm, no mm. Yo, I'll put Joe here and then we'll just we'll kind of work with it like this. Um, we did move these two guys to double A or triple A. We'll see if, you know, it works out. Maybe, maybe we need to move a couple guys up, a couple guys down during during the season. So we'll see what happens. I'll see you guys at draft day for season two. I thought last year's draft was good. Ooh, this one's even better. Let's take a look at it. Look at this. Roger Klucka, Kluka, whatever his name is. Look at those stats. 74 overall. Those per nines are through the roof. And he's got 88 potential. We got Will Ryder, who's 69 overall. Nice. But look at those contact stats. Good fielding, good speed. Nice little shortstop. Kendra Costello is our worst pick, and he's a 73 potential. We got John Greer, 82 potential. Damon Hawthorne, who's a 70 with 85 potential. Already got some nice looking stats. And then Floyd Cummins with 84 potential really solid draft for us Alrighty, so at the deadline we're gonna train juan mejia one of our draft picks from season one and matt ronnie from because you guys can see he's just struggling he's just not doing well potential is going down as well for dan wheeler of the mets look at these stats a 1.19 era i think he's definitely gonna help us with the bullpen and i think that's really gonna be it for tra uh for trades because when i look at the squad overall it's it's actually going pretty well uh ledesma is is a little bit of a question mark but overall um i'm pretty happy with the way the team's performing i think everyone's growing and i think we should be able to at least find a couple pieces uh in free agency that shouldn't cost too much 
that we could pick up so we're very close to a wild card spot so i didn't want to change the team too much because it looks like things are going very very well so let's hop into the rest of the season i'll see you guys at the end of season two all right i said we were holding on to a wild card spot and i have a feeling we just scraped in with a wild card spot so 89 and 73 we're taking on the royals in that wild card game let's take a look see where we finished we were 14 games behind the twins and then in the wild card all right we, we had a three game a uh, little gap there, so that's not too bad. Alex Sanchez with the most triples. We'll take a look at the awards. Um, Jason Giambe was the MVP last year, la or this year. Last year was Edgar Martinez. And then Sammy Sosa is putting up scary good numbers. 52 and 50 home runs. Ho! Oh! Um, let's go take a look at, like, Cy Young. Carlos Zambrano this year. Last year was Randy Johnson. Man, Carlos Zambrano. What a throwback. Kenny Rogers, Omar Dahl. And when we look at batting title, we got Jose Cruz, Paula Duca. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the lineups. You guys can see Alex Sanchez hitting almost 300. He's only getting better, which is, I like that, which means we may not need a new center fielder. Brian Roberts, um, 272. Okay. 18 home runs, 57 RBI is not bad. Almost 300 for Jason Bay. We traded for him. He may not have hit a lot of home runs, but the average is good. Um, RBIs are kind of low too. Only 13. How many games did he play? 38 games why did he only play in 38 games he's in every single lineup that's weird i don't get that uh carlos pena is going down even though he had a better year than last year not as many home runs but the average and stuff was there good home runs good average good rbis by dimitri young i like to see that phil nevin okay not as good as last year so he may be a player i look to replace brandon inge not terrible, not amazing. Uh, I mean, actually, 270 with 15 home runs for a catcher is not bad. That's actually pretty good. Ramon Santiago, about the same as last year. Nothing too crazy. And then Samuel Colon. Looks like he's our new left fielder. Um, Over Jason Bay or maybe our new right fielder. I don't know. I don't really understand why that's happening. Um, we'll take a look at our pitching staff. Um, Nate Robertson, a little, bit, a little bit of a struggle. But overall, I mean... You know, Berkowitz is up already, which is awesome to see. I'm pretty happy with the pitching staff. It, it wasn't amazing, but it still it did the job. Ledesma is still hovering around a 6 ERA. Spire, ooh, love it. Wheeler, okay, 3 ERA. Bimo, okay. Uh, we lost Jesus to waivers, which is a little disappointing. But overall, I'm liking what I'm seeing with our pitching staff. I'm liking what I'm seeing with our lineup. Over, I mean, like overall, it's good, you know, especially since we're a team that in real life only won 43 games in season one. So let's take a look. Let's see what we can do with this Kansas City game. We are the home team. Okay. So playing at Comerica. Let's see how things go. We obviously need to let Cornejo take the mound. He's our ace. Let's look at this lineup. We got Fe Febles, Baroa, Beltran, Sweeney, Guiel. Ibanez, Tucker, Johnson, and Relaford. Is it Guiel? Guiel? I don't know. Oh, what a way to start the game. Yikes. A solo shot. All right. We're Kevin Apier. 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 Jason Bay with the clutch two run bomb. And we're up by one. They got Raul Ibanez. Ooh, what a throwback. Bases loaded. Come on. Gets us out of it. Perfect. Um, We get out of that. No damage done. Look at that. Cornejo working it four innings though he's kind of tired so we need to make sure he at least gets us five he does he gets us five he's done we gotta we gotta start getting the ape year because it's not it's not looking too good here um facing a string of lefties we'll go to bemal there we go that's what i'm looking to see we get a single another single bases are loaded for nevin sack fly i'll take it it gets the job done we get another run and we have a three run lead perfect um switch hitter and then a couple righties we'll, we'll keep it we'll keep him in he gets the job done there and then we'll go to a righty in wheeler perfect oh we get first and third no outs all right let's go with the sack fly let's get that let's get that run cushion all right wheeler does the eighth perfectly oh look at this we're adding more runs perfect oh six run lead we'll keep wheeler in as long as things don't get out of hand we, all right things might get out of hand here we'll bring in bring in rodney we'll bring in rodney we need one more out but there we go 
We're taking on the Twins, a divisional opponent. All right, we made it past the wild card. Jason Bay had himself a day. All right, let's change up the rotation a little bit. Let's just make sure Knotts goes there. Perfect. All right, so Brad Radke versus our rookie, Zach Berkowitz. And we get the win. Did Berkowitz get the win? He does. Seven innings. Ooh, look at that. We take the loss that game. And then we take the loss that game. So we're facing elimination. Joe Mays. I saw that for the Twins. Ooh. We're going to throw. Ooh, man. Um, I guess Robertson. I mean, all right. Shannon Stewart. They got, I think that's Jack Jones. Uh, yeah, Jack Jones. Justin Morneau. Torrey Hunter. Michael. Oh, man. Kadir. What a squad. After the leadoff double, though, no damage was done. That's nice to see. Double play ends our inning, unfortunately. All right, no. All right, they don't get a run. We've started off both innings with a single, and then we finish it with a double play. Man. All right, so. Ooh, a double. That's good. All right, we got a guy on second. One out. Cologne with the single gets us that run. Second and third. Could Jason Bay be a hero again? He does. Gets us a two-run lead. Perfect. A three ground outs. That's awesome. All right. Can we get five for Robertson? Awesome. He's still got a lot of energy. It might even be a six inning outing for our pitcher. Oh, man. Six shutout innings. That's what I'm talking about. First and second for Nevin. <sighs> unlucky. Unlucky. That's all right. We are going to go to. Let's go to Wheeler again. He was good. Double. Pop up. Awesome. Inge. Single. Oh, man. First and second. No outs. Cologne walks. Fielder's choice. That's not what we need. The sack bunt gets in a run. No way. Um, Let's see. Wheeler gives up the home run. So it's a 3-1 game. We're going to go to Rodney. And it gets us out. So only one run comes in. Can we get an insurance run? We can't. So we'll go to our closer, Mears. He's kind of tired, but we're, we're going to stick with him. And he gets the job done. Nate Robertson, six shutout innings. Look at that. And we're, we're facing elimination here again, but so are the Twins. Winner take all here. Target field. Obviously, it wouldn't be target field. And this time, it would have been the, the throwback stadium for them. But we're going to let the rookie take the mound, Berkowitz. Let's get him some run support for sure. Single. Ah, they get a run home. But that's okay. One run. That's not terrible. There it is. Phil Nevin gets it right back. And we're looking good. We're looking good. Taking on Brad Radke. Roberts on second. Jason Bay. Two run home run. He's having himself a postseason. He's proven why he should have been playing all these games. Phil Nevin gets another home run. Okay. Four to one lead. Travis Hafner on second. Come on, Berkowitz. Let's get out of this. No damage done. Single two run score. Another oh, two runs again. They take the lead with a four run fourth, but we tie it up. Brian Roberts with the shot. All right. Come on, just get us out. That's five innings from our rookie. I, I'll take that. You know, it's not the best outing. Maybe one more. Okay, six. I'll take that. Six, six innings. Can we get can we get a run here? Jason Bay. Alright, he's done. He's done. He's done. Alright, so we're facing some lefties. We're gonna go to. Walker had himself a season. Ah, the run comes home. We're down one. We got two innings to come back. There's a good start. Come on. A double play. Ooh. All right. It all comes down to this. I feel like we managed the game well. I don't... You know, that, that run that came in was unlucky. So, Latroy Hawkins. Uh-oh. Come on, guys. All right, last chance. Alex Sanchez grounds out. Oh man, we. Ooh, I thought I thought we had it. You know, unfortunate, unfortunate. So, the Cubs defeat the Yankees in the 2019 World Series. It really would have been what 2004 at this point. Oh, we're so close. One game to get to that World Series, but that's okay. That's okay. We got one more season to the, to pull it off. Carlos Pena, why is he? You know what? We're going to bring him back. He's he's one of the better first basemen available. Um, and I feel like we could, you know, $8 million for a player like this is not bad at all. Um, Joe, 
he wasn't terrible. We'll we'll bring him back. We'll bring him back. He was he's not not expensive either. Um, let's take a look at the the rest of the available free agents and what we can work with. Arbitration wise, again, we, we gotta we gotta bring in Fernando Rodney. He was he's just too good. Dan Wheeler, it says he's going down. I don't think he's going to. I think he's gonna be solid for us. Kirk. All right, let's take a look. Kirk was like our four starter. We got Kluka. I kind of want to give Kluka a shot, so we're gonna let Kirk go. Ramon Santiago. He's our starter. We do have that rookie, but I don't think the rookie is gonna be good enough just yet. And Phil Nevin. I mean, he proved himself in the postseason. Um, who do we have behind him? No one really. So we'll just sign him just just in case, just in case. Um, take a look at the contracts. Everybody is going to get a contract for sure. So I'll see you guys at season two or season three. All right. Season three off season. Again, we were very limited with the budget. So we weren't able to really sign anybody, but we're going to make a trade. We're going to go for Dale Chavez for Phil Nevin. I know he's been very consistent for us, um, especially postseason. He was clutch. Uh, we're going to trade him and Fred Webster, who we actually just drafted in last year's draft. But the thing is, we're not going to need him after the season because this is the last year. And I feel like we need a little bit younger third baseman who, you know, similar rating to what Nevin was. And hopefully he can help us out. Um, that being said, I have one more trade I have in mind. I'm thinking about trading for um, maybe a shortstop. Um, it would mean we'd have to trade Will Ryder. That or we let Will Ryder start now because like... Ramon Santiago is not bad, but he's just not good. You know what I mean? And when we look at the squad, um, Juan Lopez over. No, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So this is what we're looking like. It's it's not a bad squad. It, it actually is. And it's actually pretty solid. We've definitely turned this team around. Um, and I feel like we, def we definitely got a, a decent little squad, you know, coming coming together here i feel like we definitely got some some powerful bats we got we got a good team um you guys can see we got this little prospect catcher it's better than what our backup currently was and when we look at the pitching rotation i mean berkowitz was a beast i'm thinking kluka is gonna be a good one knots and robertson are probably gonna be pretty trash but uh this is another guy we drafted hawthorne we got spire by walker i mean I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the way we are. Maybe we get a new bullpen arm rather than the short shortstop. I'll see. I'll try to find a good trade though. All right, we're getting rid of three uh, relievers that I'm okay with. For Ryan Drees, uh, had a really good year last year. Um, it looks like he was more of a an actual starter, which might actually help us out. Maybe we move him to a starter. We're getting rid of the three relievers that we're not really like cool with. Like he kind of struggled last year, and then these two guys are in for, uh, the minors anyways. So we'll see what we can do. All right, final season. This is how we're looking. I have faith in our like young pitchers. We got Berkowitz, we got Kluka. Robertson's gonna be in this spot after leaving the starting rotation. He just struggled last year, so I figured maybe we'll put him in the long roll. Uh, we moved him down just to see if we could limit his innings, see how he does there. Um, whoops, like, cause when you look at our AAA, oh, we don't really have anybody. So, that, I mean, that's kind of what we're working with. We got Wheeler, Fernando, Rodney, and Chris Mears. I like it. I like it. I feel like we're strong. You know, look at our squad. I mean, we got some good outfielder, young outfielders. Um, yeah, this guy has no trade value. I tried to trade him. He has no trade value. Um, but yeah, I, I like the squad. I mean, it's kind of difficult to trade for players in this. It, they either have really high trade value or little trade value. It's really difficult. Um, and all the good players obviously have really high trade value. So for a three season like this was a bad team with no prospects to trade i like what we put together i feel like um we're, we're in a good spot with this squad so let's see how season three plays out i'll see you guys at the end of it all right at the deadline for season three i'm gonna take a chance on kurt Schilling. i am i'm i'm gonna go a little crazy i'm gonna take a chance on kurt Schilling for uh gary knotts who has like a seven or a high, yeah six era omar infante who's hitting like 103 or something 189 and then one of our prospects that is really low rated that we're not going to use. This might be the year. I'm not kidding. It might be the year. We won the division. We were 88 and 75. So, I mean, not the not the best of winning percentages. 88 wins usually doesn't win you the division. But I'm going to take it. And we're taking on the Angels in the division series. We got some league leaders. Sanchez with stolen bases. Okay. And then awards. 
We got a gold glove. Carlos Beltran with the season. And then Vlad coming up with a big year as well. Let's take a look at Cy Young. Roy Holiday. Oh, man. And then Jeff Weaver. Batting title. Milton Bradley. And Mark Grace. Some names I haven't heard in a while. So look at Alex Sanchez. A player I was actually going to try to like find a new center fielder for. He's been a low-key beast. Brian Roberts. Really good year. Really good year. Dimitri Young. Uh, the average isn't there, but home runs and RBIs are. Uh, Carlos Pena, solid season. Jason Bay, there we go. Those are numbers we're looking for. Dale Chavez brought him in. Pretty solid year. Juan Lopez looks like he's kind of our outfielder, platoon outfielder. He had a really good year too. The average isn't there, but the home runs and RBIs are. Mark Mora took over for Brandon Inge because Brandon Inge just could have hit the ball. And you can see uh, he's actually doing pretty good. And we brought up that shortstop prospect. And in the few games he played... He had a 300 average, so it looks like he was the right move to call up and let him be our shortstop. So, so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Cornejo is actually a really solid pitcher for us. Berkowitz is looking like a crazy good ace in the future. Dries was okay. Schilling, okay. I mean, you know, a player who's, what, 38? I'll take that. And then Robertson struggled a little bit, but that's all right. Kluka, he had 61 stamina, so I figured he kind of fit this role a little bit better. But, I mean, this is okay. And then when you look at the rest of our staff, oh, man, these two struggled a little bit. But, whoo, everybody else. I mean, I'm actually going to let Rodney close out games. Jamie Walker, those are gross stats. Only 25 innings pitch, but still, oh, man, look at that. Um, Prospects-wise, I don't think we had many left. Uh, Hawthorne, he was okay, actually. Was he in our starting rotation? Oh yeah, he was on the he was in the bowl. Oh wait, maybe we make we let him start over Robertson. Maybe make him here. Yeah, maybe make it a four man rotation for the playoffs, and then kind of use Schilling as a okay. That might be the move. That might be the move. Uh, but yeah, we're going back to the the whole prospects thing. We don't really have any. We kind of traded them all away. We have Costello, but. That's that's really about it, I think. I mean, I don't think we have anybody else. Yeah, I think that's it. So, postseason time against the Angels. We take game one. We lose game two. We win game three. We lose game four. And obviously, we're going to play this one. We're going to quick manage. We're not going to let Schilling pitch. We are going to let Cornejo pitch. And it all comes down to this. Look at that. Look at that team. They're going to be good. Ooh, a triple. Sack fly. Come on. Bring in the run. There we go. Um, I know they have A-Rod for sure. So they, they have two Darren Ersteds. What kind of cheating is this? Troy Gloss, Garrett Anderson, Tim Sam. All right. Benji Molina. Oh, is that Darren and Derek? That, that's, I'm smart. I'm smart. I promise. I promise. Double play. Um, we can't let that run come in. There we go. We keep it. Mora. Two run bomb, Brian Roberts. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, they got two Darren or Stets. I don't know why I thought Derek. That was dumb of me. I'm just, I'm, Lopez, the guy we drafted, comes up clutch with a two run double. I don't know why I'm thinking Derek. Derek, that doesn't. That's just dumb of me. Um, Carlos Pena bringing the run. He can. A triple by Chavez. Oh, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing. 8 nothing. Okay, 8-2. Eight, 8-3. Eight, can we get out of the inning? We can. Three runs do score. We're still... Oh, Bonderman. We're actually playing against a former former player of us. Um, let's go to the bullpen here. Uh, let's see. Lefty, maybe? Yeah. Perfect. That's what I like to see. All right. So I had to mute for that. You guys saw what happened. My dogs started barking. So we let up some runs, unfortunately. But Juan Lopez goes deep. That's what I like to see. Juan Lopez goes deep. Whoo. Shortstop prospect Will Ryder's got some speed too. He brings in a run, makes it a 10 4 game. And that should do it, right? J 
Jamie Walker goes, what, three innings? But Brian Roberts, a two RBI day. And we take on the Yankees. We can't let Cornejo pitch. He's, he's probably going to be a little bit tired. So what we'll do is we'll put him here. And we'll, we'll just rock with that. Let's see how the postseason finishes for us. Actually, I don't want it to finish yet. It might. Uh, the Yankees are a good team. I mean, I can't freak out about that. Uh, or I can't I can't doubt that. We're going to let Berkowitz take the mound. Comes down to our prospect from season one. But look at the Jeter, Soriano, Giambi, Matsui, Posada. Like, Boone, you can't. Man, that's a tough sack fly all right that's this is and we're facing mike musina this is a tough matchup for us man this is going to be a tough one for sure we're down one chavez comes in clutch for us stolen base that's all right we don't allow the run no soriano oh i thought that was us for a second all right jason bays on double juan lopez i need the sack fly here small ball that's what we do that's what i'm talking about a single, okay. A strikeout, fly out, no run scores. Berkowitz is done. He's done. He's done. All right, we got to go to the lefty Walker. Double scores. Oh, we tried the lefty lefty matchup. It doesn't work. Walker gets out of it. We got three innings, guys. That's a good start. That's a good start for sure. Will Ryder, I need you here. The rookie delivers. All right, it's a one run game. It's a one run game. All right, uh, Wheeler. There we go. Uh, we got another lefty. We do. Perfect. We worked those matchups perfectly. All right. Felix Heredia comes in. We're down one. Come on. We can't. We can't fall. We can't let the season end here, boys. Come on. Mariano Rivera. Juan Lopez in the clutch. He does it. Oh, man. Juan Lopez. Oh, Will Ryder. Can we get second? We do. Runner in scoring position. Come on. First and second. One out. Double play. Come on. All right. We're going to go to... We'll go to Mears. Stolen base. We don't have another lefty. A walk. Strikeout. A walk. A fly out. We get out of it. All right. Kevin Gregg comes in for them. We get a man on first. Fielder's choice and a strikeout. All right, Mears is done after that. We're in the 12th. We got to get something going. Come on, guys. Uh, we'll go Spire. All right, we're still going. Oh, man, a single. That's a good start. Can we get second? We do. Man in scoring position. We just need to move him. Come on, guys. How did we not take advantage of that? Can we get second again? We do. A man in scoring position again. Alex Sanchez, come on, double, and we, oh, we walk it off, Juan Lopez with a game, Sanchez with the, oh, the, the hit to win us the game, to get the walk off, and we're doing this again, um, Yankee Stadium this time, we're gonna go to, Cornejo struggled last time, do we go to Drees, do we go to Schilling, let's go to Drees, and let's see how this goes. Andy Pettit takes the mound this time. That's a good start. We get a man. Get it, man in scoring position. Error, Carlos Pena. I need you with the sack fly. Small ball, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We get that lead. That's a good start. Oh, he gets thrown out at home. He doesn't score. Perfect. That's good for us. And then Jason Bay goes deep. Gives us that two-run lead. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Sanchez is on. A double brings him home by Brian Roberts. Giambi goes deep. That's not good. All right, we get the double play. That's probably it for him. Five innings was good. A double. Okay. Come on. Let's move him over at least. Come on. Lopez. <sighs> Dries. Come on. Give me through this inning. Ah, I don't think he's going to. So we're going to go to... We'll go to Kluka. Kluka gets the out. All right. Mora. Oh, our catcher gets on. Can we do anything here? First and second for Young. Young's been quiet. Young's been quiet. Um, unfortunately for us, a double to lead it off a single. Ooh, we gotta, we gotta go to the clutch man right here. Fernando Rodney to close it out. Double play. So Rodney, no. Oh man. Um, Mears. 
Oh man. Uh strikeout. Fernando Rodney, all you had to do was get me one more out. You had the double play, and then you just oh. No. That would have evened up the series. We would have gone to game seven. And then we could have possibly made it to the oh. That one hurts. That one hurts. But let's take a look. Alex Sanchez struggled a little bit. He did have that walk-off hit, which was nice. Brian Roberts had himself a postseason. Dimitri Young was okay. Carlos Pena was all right. Jason Bay, Dale Chavez, Juan Lopez. I mean, it looks like the bats went a little bit quiet for sure. It looks like the bats went a little bit quiet for sure. You guys probably hear my dog barking. All right, so like I was saying, I know you heard the dog bark. I know you did. I know you did. Uh, but... Alrighty, so I mean, we had to pause, I had to backtrack, uh, dog was barking once again, so you guys saw how we lost, unfortunately, um, you, you actually that, the dog wasn't barking in that part, but what we see here is, it looks like the offense went a little bit colder in the postseason, and when you look at, like, Berkowitz, yeah, he has a little bit of a high ERA, Cornejo struggled too, Drees did well, Hawthorne did very well, Kluka was iffy, but when you look at the rest of the bullpen, I mean, a couple of, oh, I mean, Fernando Rodney really sucked it up that game. He really he really let us down. And that's really where his ERA kind of spikes. I feel like the pitching for the most part did their job. It looks like the lineup went a, a little quiet. Um Juan Lopez, nine RBIs. I mean, he looks like he was he's a he's a really good piece for us for the future. And that's what? That's two that's back to back years in the ALCS and we come just short of making the world series but i mean for a team that had no obviously they had no prospects but for a team that's just supposed to be trash and in real life only won 43 games to turn them into an alcs two years in a row i think that's a pretty solid um a pretty solid rebuild so i hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuild if you did like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and also in the comment section, remember, let me know who your favorite player of all time is in the MLB. And if you guys ever go to any sporting events and you need some tickets, go to SeatGeek, use the code ANTORTIZ and get $20 off your first purchase. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.